Hi YouTube. Um, look, bear with me please as I uh, go through this video. Um, but uh, there's a few things I absolutely need to address. Uh, certainly some of the comments in my last video. Um, if I were to use a word, it would be overwhelmed. Let me just um, let me just go through this, okay? So one of the big questions was, are you still going to be buying metals? And it's funny because uh, you know I've seen a couple people say this is the bottom for silver. I'm like, really? One guy talking about life, liberty, and the pursuit of buoyant is going to affect the silver market. You know, it, look, if, if that's the way you want it, to, look, if, if that's what it takes is me closing down my channel for silver to rebound, great, glad to help out. Okay, I, I just simply don't believe. I think that's nonsense. But um, look, uh, two hours after I uploaded that video, there was a knock at the door, and um, I got a package in the mail. There was also uh, nine starving liberties that my son had bought, but uh, my daughter's studying pandas in school in China, so she wanted the, the latest panda, so she bought that. She also wanted this thing. Um, <laughs> it's called a Dogecoin. Uh, we call it the dog e coin, so however you want to pronounce it. I know that the proper pronunciation is doge, but for an eight year old kid that doesn't really work so much. So it's a dog e coin. So that's the, the round there. Uh, look, the kid has a weird taste, what can I tell you? She likes dogs. Um, I like to I wanted to keep my um, one tenth ounce lunar collection going, so I bought the, the this year's goat. And um, so just to give you a quick backstory, I was going to do a video on this and never got to it. Um, <clears throat> so when my wife was pregnant for my son, we lived in a tiny one-bedroom apartment. And, uh, you know, she had said, I really want to start a savings plan for our kids, or for a kid, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, sure, sounds great, we should do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're, we're saddled with uh, her student loan bills. Uh, we were paying off our, our uh, wedding we had some other bills too, and we just simply didn't make a lot of money, okay? And we also needed a new home, so uh, we, bought a, we bought a place that was a bit of a fixer-upper. And, um, you know, when my son was born, uh, infant care was about $800 a month, so bang, you have this new expense when we couldn't afford it anyway. Uh, you have to pay for an increase in health insurance, um, certainly formula, um, uh, pampers, and doctor visits, and everything else that comes with having a kid. And, of course, we had to start uh, fixing up our condo, which we did year by year. So the savings plan never occurred. Well, a few years later, just as we're kind of starting to hit our stride a little bit, my daughter comes along. <laughs> and so now, once again, we have another $800 a month. Plus, my son was still in preschool. So my, my, um, <clears throat> my daycare expense was enormous. Uh, my health insurance premiums were getting really big. Um, my, my grocery budgets were expanding, so the, um, uh, never started, started the savings plan. Then 2008 happened, and we all took a beating. Certainly didn't start the savings plan then. So here we are, and I got a 12-year-old kid, almost 13 years old, and I still didn't start the savings plan. So what is the lesson? If you want to do something, do it. Do it right now. Come up with a plan and just do it, because, believe me, an incredible amount of time will go by. It'll slip through your fingers, and you will still have done nothing. Okay, so you want to talk about a regret? That's one of my big regrets. Um, can't really do much about it. All I can do is uh, keep moving forward. So once a year, we do a um, we do a treasure hunt for the kids at Easter. Okay, so uh, you know we do the normal jelly beans and eggs and everything else. And then there's one final egg that has a clue to a treasure hunt. And uh, each kid then goes all over the house and yard going egg to egg. And at the very end is a, um, is a treasure chest, and it usually has a silver coin in it. Well, this year we decided to start that savings plan. Um, the plan is for the next 10 years to buy each kid an ounce of gold. Um, I certainly prefer this year the kangaroo because it has the purity of a maple, it's encapsulated, and it's actually cheaper than the eagle or maple. So uh, I love this year's design. I love the full moon in the background. I, I really, really love this coin, and I think the kids are going to go out of their minds for it. So um, the plan this year was to start their savings plan. And Can I go through with it for 10 years? I really don't know. I have no idea what my finances are going to look like. I'm going to try. And uh, that's that's all I can really do. But I'd like to buy them each an ounce of gold per year and uh, put that towards their future. 
And uh, so that's the plan anyway. So to answer your questions, am I still buying metals? The answer is a resounding yes. It, it was really weird getting this box in and not being able to share it because every time I got a box in for three years, I rushed to grab my video camera. And people knock the unboxings, but it's just simply a way to say, hi, and uh, this is what I bought, and, and share it with you guys. And, and you know, there was a void there, I'll, I'll be honest. It definitely felt odd, to say the least, okay? So to answer your question, yes, I'm still buying metals. Um, they helped, they helped me turn things around, okay? They basically taught me how to budget and save. They taught me to how, how to uh, take a hard look at my discretionary spending. And all the stuff that I've talked about for the past three years or so uh, stands true more now today than ever, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with what I've accomplished and I'm going to keep pushing forward because if I can do this in three short years, what can I do in the next three? It's kind of how I'm looking at it. So yes, metals are going to be a part of that. I was going to do a video uh, called uh, Silver and Gold, Never All Out, Never All In. It was going to be about diversification. And I was like, you know what? I, this sounds like financial advice. That's never been what the channel's about. It's for gold and silver enthusiasts, right? So I didn't want to do uh, my diversification video. Even though people make assumptions all the time. Um, oh, you must be all in. No, never said that. I would never say that. Okay, I believe in diversification. I believe in diversification within your stack. I believe in diversification outside of your stack. Period. I mean, I don't know another way to say it. So, if me leaving YouTube is a bottom for silver, great. And then silver is bottomed. I will certainly be a beneficiary myself. Okay? Um, you guys do what you want to do. Um, the other thing is, let me just say, uh, you know, I... Um, I always feel, I always wonder if I'm emotionally detached sometimes, you know, um, I'm not one to, uh, you know, well up during a movie, I'll just watch the movie, and, and when somebody else is, I kind of chuckle at them, you know, what are you doing crying over Lassie, <laughs> or whatever, um, to say that I was overwhelmed is, I, I can't think of a bigger understatement than the comment section of my last video. Okay, it was, uh, it filled me with pride and it was, uh, it was, it was very difficult to, uh, to read it all. And I wanted to make sure that I read every comment. I want to make sure that I replied to every comment. Um, because it was just, uh, it was sensational. And I don't know, I, I really, I'm, I'm struggling for the proper words so that you guys can know how much it meant. Because, um, and, and I'm struggling, I, but I, I hope you recognize it. That the, um, you know, let me put it this way. Um, you know, I did a video, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, uh, Feel the Real, when I, when I kind of... Um, I kind of marginalized things that are digital. You know, um, I, I talked about how uh, you know sitting next to a friend and playing the Xbox uh, it certainly beats uh, Xbox Live kind of thing, right? I, I, I talked about that, and I realized how quickly I was wrong to to marginalize that. That these relationships are a lot stronger than you realize. Um, you know, we, we tend to uh, rank everything in our heads, right? It's kind of like at the wedding. <laughs> you know, you get, the, you get the wedding party, and you get the two tables right next to it, which are your parents and maybe your sisters and everything else, the direct family. Then you get the good, really good friends, and you keep going back to the room, and there's always those two tables, those like hodgepodge just thrown together, barely invited to the wedding. Nobody knows each other sitting at the table, right? You know that table. Everybody kind of ranks all this stuff in their head. And uh, I, I think on some level, uh, people kind of rank uh, digital relationships um, like that, that final table. And I'm here to tell you that's simply not the case. Um, you know, I realized quickly just how much I care about all these people that I've been interacting with uh, for so long now. And uh, 
you know, when somebody leaves a comment that, you know, they watched a couple of my, my videos and, and looked at spending money differently and, and over the course of time were able to turn their, their finances around. I mean, I, I can't even tell you how, how good that feels. And I, I recognize that, look, I'm not taking credit for it. I, I, I get that. Um, but to, to know that, you know, uh, something that I did played some role in them, them just looking at it differently and then putting the work in, just it's a pretty good feeling. And, uh, you know, I was just, um, I, I was just really floored reading those comments, guys. And uh, it, it definitely uh, made me very proud of the, of the relationships that I built. You know, I, I think I said, um, I think I said in one of my videos uh, that you're not really measured by how much money you had at the end of the day. You're not really measured even by the size of your silver or gold stack. It, you're really measured by the relationships that you form. And I gotta tell you, um, my stack of relationships is pretty big, pretty significant. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely, um, I, I appreciated that outpouring. Um, it was just, uh, it, it was just a very touching thing. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll certainly never forget it. Uh, you know, I, I just never will. So for that, I thank you. I, I thank you for taking the time uh, to let me know how you feel. It was, um, it was quite, quite the, quite the day. I'll tell you, I, I let a bunch of them at, um, mount up before I started re replying and, uh, it was something else. So, uh, so thank you for that. And, um, you know, if anybody ever says that, uh, I'm out of the metals or the, that I'm leaving because sentiment is low, it's just simply not the case. Okay. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so I, I really don't know how to put it any other way, but, um, all right. Thanks, guys.